Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Hi, George. Um, a blessed New Year to you all yes. and to you, happy, George. Happy New Year. Happy, happy New Year. Happy Rudy. Rudy. When, I was, when I was little, uh, I, I used to say, Happy Rudy. Happy Rudy. Bakit? Happy New oh, Year. No. I, couldn't, I couldn't say the words. Okay. Happy, happy Rudy. Happy Rudy. Well, happy yeah. Rudy to you. Happy Rudy. And you know, everyone is listening, yeah. Yeah, before before the, the last podcast that we had, George, you were not yet there, but now you're there. Yes. Yes. Okay. Happy New Zealand. Yeah. Hopping, me. hopping New Year for <laughs> George. Oh <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Hopping New Year. <laughs> yeah, George is in New Zealand now, guys. Yep. Uh, and I'm, I'm still in Manila. Five hours ahead of Randy. Yeah. yeah so just just so process. you know, just so you know. George, uh, you know, he he made the ultimate sacrifice of extending or or, or postponing his sleeping time. Yes. So yes. that we can be accommodated because we're going to give you episode seven of our podcast yes. called Take Note. Take Note. Welcome. Yes. For those of you who are listening for the first time, um, you should check out our other episodes. Uh, this is our seventh episode. And basically what Randy and I do is we throw around ideas and experiences. We don't want to preach to you or tell you what to do, but you should take out a uh, paper and pen and take note of the things that we discuss, all to help you make informed decisions. Yep, and uh, today is going to be exciting. Yep, because usually at the start of the year we talk. About, people talk about this. Yes. Uh, people talk about exercise. People talk mm -hmm. about this. And and George, I love the ta the title of our episode today. Actually, it it reminds me of a song mm -hmm. <laughs> that Digging only up. dinosaurs know. Right? It's a uh, it's a buddy buddy, right? Alam mo yun, di ba? Buddy, buddy, dancer. <laughs> buddy, buddy, dancer. <laughs> buddy, buddy, dancer. Kaya lumalabas yun natin in our age shows every time we uh, crack a joke. Yeah, kasi this, we uh, started we started early. And and we, we were always naman, George, parang more mature than our age, di ba? That's yeah. why. Pero actually, <laughs> ano, panahon to nila, Bo, nila Arun. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Buddy, 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 body, buddy, body, becoming your body's best friend. All right. So, Brang Usi and Rans, uh, so many people have transformed their body during the pandemic. All right. Because they have a lot mm -hmm. of time to exercise or, you know, yeah. I'm balik tad because I, I used to walk, uh, I don't know, like I, I used to easily do my 10,000 steps just with the commute, uh, you know, going to the bus stop and going to the from the bus stop to the city uh to to my building in the city and then back and you know so you do that twice a day and dun palang halos na ko na uh and it was um yeah it was uh it was very enjoyable for me i loved it uh and so now i have to be a little more deliberate actually um with the walking and everything so but yeah um that's that's what we're gonna talk about uh, today. How to become your body's yeah. best friend, George. You were saying that during the pandemic, to, uh, the something happened, diba? So people became um, conscious about their 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 bodies, their body types. So they started working out. Now there are two type two kinds of people. Uh, there are two ways, pala, that uh, people adopted to adapted to the pandemic. So number mm -hmm. one is they they really exercised mm -hmm. um, so that they'll have a you know nice body, healthy body. The other the other <laughs> thing that people did was they just accepted that uh, their you know it's, it's 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 exercise and acceptance. So <laughs> anyway, uh, you see so, you see your body every day, so you just yeah. accepted it. Uh, you learn to love yourself. <laughs> no, but but at the, well, uh, seriously, uh, reality is that I also well, everyone has a different situation. I'm never one to judge anyone's situation, but two kids and uh, there a lot of people went through mental stress as well. And I I have also discovered that you know willpower to exercise and all of that it's doubly hard when you're 
stressed, when you're, you know, when there's a lot on your plate, a lot on your mind. And and our guest speaker actually has uh, some experience with that. All right, with with what mm-hmm. I just mentioned, and and we're very fortunate to have him. Um, he's the youth director of the Light of Jesus family of the feast. And um, magaling mag-basketball to Ranze. Eh. Tsaka soccer player, I think, no? Tama ba? And, um, wow. and yeah, he's he's a fantastic artist and a worship leader. And um, believe it or not, Ranz, ninong ako sa kasal niya. All right? Uh, that was the second time that I... Ew. Yes, I'm the godfather, <laughs> uh, principal sponsor at his wedding. Yeah, I wasn't invited, so... <laughs> Oh, you can take that out. It's a yeah. very good time for you to mention that. Yeah, I was wondering yeah. why you weren't there. All right? Yeah. Okay, we'll, see. we'll see what he says. Well, why yeah. you can yeah, later. later. All right. <laughs> but why don't we bring him in, uh, Rans? Because I'm excited to learn uh, from this guy. Um, we're going to try to make this uh, episode uh, as scientific as possible. Um, but also, uh, I, I believe we're going we're gonna to learn a lot from him as we throw, throw around ideas about, you know, what, what it means to have a to be your body's best friend. So mm-hmm. without any further ado, Rans, let's welcome our, our resource person for today, uh, Nico Capuccio. Yeah. Hey! hey! Applause, applause. Yeah. Thank you for having me here. <laughs> okay. Hi, Nico. How's the bro? Ito, um, yeah. we, have a, we have a two-year-old kid. He's turning three. And man... He's actually my my inspiration to to exercise. So my my goal is my goal is to always make him feel light in my arms. Yeah. And so when mm. he when he when so he when he's twenty one game sweat, <laughs> I need to be lifting around three hundred pounds in there. <laughs> if he's twenty one. So that's actually the goal, actually to be able to keep up with my kid. Yeah. So I'm um, fine. How are you? Kuya George and Kuya Randy. <laughs> we're, we're good. We're good. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Nico, answer our f- first question for today. Why wasn't I invited to your <laughs> wedding? <laughs> hmm, um, Why? <laughs> Why? See, I'm going to say that I'm going to invent it. Okay. <laughs> we weren't that close then. So, and, and okay. that was the truth. Oh, okay. Yeah. All <laughs> you right. Know, Randy was like, you know, I only invite friends. Party. Guys, I only invite friends to my wedding. Okay. So it's okay. it's okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I, just kidding, just kidding, Nico. Because because I didn't invite you to my wedding also. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dapat Nico. Eh. Why was oh, you invited? <laughs> I mean, di nalo ako miki bo because I also didn't invite Nico because I didn't know him at that time. So, but then yeah, I yeah. Was very good yeah. He knew you. You were a community leader. I have no idea why you weren't invited, Randy. But anyway, let's <laughs> put that awkward, uh, you know, topic aside. Okay, okay, okay. And Nico, sorry, you were saying you have a a son. And what's his yeah. name? Yeah, Nat Nat. So Nat Nat. Um, Nat Nat is now. And Nika, your wife Nika, have yeah. a son called Nat Nat. Yeah. Nico Nika Nat Nat. Okay. But hindi, um, hindi, hindi, okay. <laughs> hindi hindi madaling hindi makakalimutan. Hindi uh, uh, it's very easy to remember. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And and Nico during the pre um uh, so Nico the reason why Nico everybody is here on the on the show is because he is a physical physical therapist, therapist. yeah but then you are yeah. sharing something very interesting a while ago um uh, before we started you 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 have a business right uh, yes yes so, so I can, currently have a fitness business um taking care of around sixty clients right now. Um, in their fitness journey, they have different goals. Some are for weight loss, some are for weight gain. Um, but my background really is my PT is not a personal trainer. I'm I'm a physical therapist. So we're the ones who train personal trainers, right? Mm-hmm. So for people outside of the Philippines, you call us physios. So we're physio mm-hmm. therapists, and um. Started sports very early in my life. Four year old, uh, four years old, I was already playing football and basketball. Um, played all the way through college. And you then, were college at four years old. No, <laughs> all the way <laughs> through college. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all the way through college. So heavy on the sports background. 
uh, took up physical therapy in the University of Santo Tomas. And go ste, go ste, go ste. Right? What, what's 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 particularly um competitive about physical therapy in the Philippine setting is that um our board exam isn't actually uh, doesn't actually have a like a a passing passing grade. It's a percentile rank, so you need to be better than 75% oh. of the people taking the board exam mm. at that time. Yeah. Mm. Buti na lang, hindi siguro masyado magagaling yung mga kasabay ko. <laughs> Kaya ako pumasa. <laughs> Pero anyway. Um, so kung may mga nakikinig uh, ngayon na PT uh, batchmates, ni Nico, he just said na hindi kayo yeah. masyado magaling. Kaya, kaya <laughs> kung, kung, kabatch, kung kabatchmates ko sila, ibig sabihin, pumasa kami lahat. Kasi hindi masyadong magagaling yung mga kasabay namin iba. <laughs> okay. Pero uh, tawag dito, Um, when I was when I was working as a PT, I really was in the sports background. So um, I dealt with the AAP, NCAA, and some PBA players. Tapos, like, like who, happened. Like who? like who in the uh, players? Famous players or? Japet Aguilar is one of them. In wow. The NBA. Um, Jimmy Alapag, Daniel. Wow. Grave. Um, Yon, Mike Pingris. Yon. So, those Wala are my, uh, no? my clients. <laughs> they're, they're unknowns, no? Yeah, hindi masyado okay. magagaling. Hindi masyado, oo. Siyempre, I was, I was under a, I was under a senior. So, they were, uh, kumbaga, I was part of the team that were handling uh, them in their okay. rehab phases. Yon. Mm-hmm. Wow. And then, um, but you, you, you told me that, but you didn't pursue, or are you, did you yeah. said something about dropping it? What or? happened was, <laughs> what happened was early in the career, I dropped it because God called me into being a missionary. So, um, uh, I, I dropped physical therapy, um, duties, went into speaking, going around schools, sharing the love of the Lord. Uh, became a missionary for for our campuses um, under the light of Jesus family, and then pandemic hit, and I got I got I got mental health problems because of the pandemic. I was diagnosed with um, adjustment disorder, so I wasn't mm-hmm. able to keep up with mm-hmm. all the adjustments that are happening all at the same time. Um, I was told that I need to have stability in my life uh, at least two to three months for my brain to be able to cope to a certain kind of um, lifestyle before introducing new things into my life. So, uh, got into therapy. I was advised to find a way to be able to stabilize myself. And I found therapy, myself psychological therapy, right? Psycholog- okay. Psychological therapy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Uh, I, I I got into I got into working out. After a few months, some people started asking, "Bro, could you help me too? Could I work out with you?" And that's where the business started. From three people, it turned into sixty people right now, around sixty. Wow. I think, yeah, more or less. Mm-hmm. So, I've been helping. I've been helping people get their fitness goals. Um, throughout the pandemic. <laughs> so started earlier this year. And it's amazing. It's 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 an amazing journey. Never thought that I would go back into physical therapy. Never thought that I would be <laughs> um, renewing my license and reviewing my exercise physiology again. Um, but God is good. And mm-hmm. I'm just so happy that I'm able to help people through this. Wow. Uh, t- talking about goals... Nico, I just I'm just curious. What's the most common goal? Right, the most common goal is actually to lose weight. Um, mm-hmm. Most of my clients are. It's, it's not just losing weight; it's to lose body fat. Right, most of my my clients are um, future uh, soon to be soon soon to be wed couples. They're mm-hmm. really trying to make a sprint. Towards um, being able to fit their ideal 
their ideal gowns or their ideal um, suits for that matter. Yeah, so most common is that. But I do have some clients who would like to gain weight on the on the other side. Yeah, on the other hand. Mm hmm Okay. Oh, George, you want to ask something? Or? No, go ahead. Okay, okay. Um, th- people want to lose weight. Does it automatically translate to becoming healthy when you start losing no. weight? No. Quick answer, no. It's not like yeah, that. Yeah, because that's so, a very common, all right, uh, I need to lose weight because I need to get healthy. So you're saying yeah. it's not necessarily equal, uh, equivalent. No. no. Could you, so mm-hmm. what a lot of people would do because they just want to lose weight, right? They would do a crash diet. They would starve themselves. They would they would remove carbs from their diet. And that's crazy. Why? Because as, yeah. as Asians, as Asians, we're yeah. genetically, um, we have genetically evolved to process carbs. And this is crazy because... Um, Removing carbs from your diet, most especially if you're a woman, an Asian woman, a Southeast Asian woman at that, could actually result to hormonal imbalances that leads you to polycystic ovarian syndrome. Could. It, it, it could. Right. Yeah. Okay. okay. So we are genetically uh, equipped to process carbs. We're not Caucasians. <laughs> My mm. gosh. Maybe Kuya George is, but <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> mm. right? Cook Asian. Cook Asian. Cook Asian. Um, you cook Asian I cook yeah. Asian food, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I heard wait. that carbs actually make you happy. There's a, actually a correlation, yeah. right? There's a, yeah, there a is, chemical there uh, reaction there that, is. yeah. It's actually, uh, it's actually a combination of carbs and fat. They're like drugs to the brain. So, and that's a problem with Filipino cuisine. Because most of our most of our food is actually primarily made of <laughs> carbs and fat. There's not much protein in our mm. diet, which so, is why we're the happiest we're... people. <laughs> yeah. Kuya, na yun. that's interesting. That's interesting. Wait, the number on the scale actually doesn't tell the whole story. So it could be broken down when you when you weigh yourself. It could be broken down to several different. Or it could uh, be broken. What you're what you're oh, stepping oh, on? Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Puede <then>. uh-huh. <laughs> Make sure that, that that your skill could could adapt your adapt your weight, could carry your weight, right? So you have your bone mass. So hopefully. Diba bone marrow yon. I love called bone what? marrow. There's bone mass. Okay, bone mass. Right. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't change because if it does, if it goes low, uh, if it goes lower, that means you have osteoporosis, right? Mm. So uh, bone mass is a constant. Um, second, you have your water weight, which fluctuates actually. So it depends on the time of the day, depends of on your hydration level. Um, so uh, kung 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 ganong karaming water yung nasa loob ng ng system mo. So yung mga minute changes in weight is usually attributed to, to water weight loss yeah, or gain for that matter. And then at any given time in the day, you actually have around uh, around 10 pounds of poop in your in your gut. Really? So unless oh you're on goodness. a cleanse, <laughs> unless you're on a oh cleanse, you're going goodness. through a cle- you're going through a cleanse. You, you probably have around seven to ten pounds of poop in your. You mean right that's now. just ten pounds? <laughs> you can't believe it. Di ko kina yun. You have that more. Okay. You have that right. Um, depending as well on the time of the day. You have food that is being digested currently in your gut. And then um, you have your muscle mass. And then you have your um, body fat percentage, which could, which could actually be broken down into two. We have your visceral fat, which is the fat covering your organs. Visceral fat is healthy up to an extent. 
Oh, right? I I thought visceral fat period was it's bad. bad. Was dead. Oh. No, no, it's it's up to an extent. Um, when you have an excessive amount of visceral fat, it's in layman's terms, it's choking your organs, right? Um, okay. And then you have you have subcutaneous fat. Yan yung flabs. It makes you cute. Yeah, <laughs> which which is actually the quickest to burn. It's the visceral fat that is so hard to get rid of. But Good. the vis- so, visceral fat is the one surrounding the belly, correct? Correct. That's inside the abdominal cavity. So you have two types of fat. Yan yung nandun sa subcutaneous fat. Yan yung nasa ilalim ng balat. It could be anywhere around the body, including your belly. Okay. Visceral fat is the one inside your 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 um, abdominal cavity. Sa, nasa loob ng, ng ng organ area mo. Yan. So it cannot be seen sa skin. Hindi mo siya ma-feel. Makikita mo lang bulging yung tummy. But not because uh, not because mapayat ka. Wala kang visceral fat. So I had I I have clients na okay. Ang nipis ng katawan pero ang laki ng tiyan. Not because of subcutaneous fat, hindi siya flabby. But because of visceral fat kasi ang laki ng uminom ng alcohol. Or grabe siya kumain ng meat. Mm-hmm. Yo. So, all of those combined is the number on the scale. Okay. Okay. So, j- what I'm what I'm hearing from you Nico is that um I mean, it is, is is it worth it to find out all of those the, all of those you know you mentioned several yeah. dimensions That's, or aspects is there a way how do people find that out uh, and and when have, they do find that number what do they do with that what do they do with that breakdown I mean right you know right. Is, is there a point or do you just uh, go for ideal there with is, what they say you know there is a point there is a point into into all of this because for example. You go on a crash diet, right? So you, um, you you'd want to reach your ideal weight. But then, you, so you go on a scale, and then you see, yes, finally, I got my ideal weight. But if you go on a body scan, you just got dehydrated plus you lost muscle. Mm, okay. But the va- but the body fat percentage is still there. Same visceral fat, same. Uh, same subcutaneous fat, and maybe, maybe even you lost some bone mass because you are malnourished. So mm-hmm. you lost weight, but you're not healthy. I see. Okay. So that could actually lead to, um, aside from physiological problems, that could also lead that could also lead to psychological problems with mental health and all. Right. Mm-hmm. The crazy part is when you go on a crash diet, when you starve yourself, there are hormones in the body that take care of the functions of the body. Different kasi yung function kapag when you're well fed and when you're starving. Mm. So when you're when those hormones are triggered, what would happen is that your body would go on quote unquote starvation mode starvation mode so what uh, what the, your body would do is they would burn less calories and then they would store more so with the little that you're eating you're actually storing more fat even if you're eating less because your body is starved mm-hmm. and your the other hormone is telling you you should eat so, magkaroon ka, mas stress ka lang ng konti, you'll binge. Mm. Yung mga so, okay. it's not really healthy. Yeah. It's not about yeah. losing weight. Mm-hmm. So, so it's not it's not about just about, about losing, weight. losing weight. Yeah, yeah so people want to lose weight. And it obviously, this is connected to having a, a healthy or a good self-image. Um, okay. so, so, is there a reason or is there anyone or who can we blame for <laughs> for who can we blame for uh i don't know how do you say that who can we blame 
for this um, uh, um, who can we blame for the influence uh, on on people like you know they they want to lose weight and uh, where did they get the idea that uh, if if you're skinny and if you're abby <laughs> abby full of abs i mean that you're healthy <laughs> and and you get what i'm saying um, yeah 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 sino sino may kagagawa nito i mean why why are we obviously there was a time in history that skinny is not in okay was not yeah. in now now skinny is in now so it's definitely media um if if we want to dig deeper por- the porn industry has a lot to do with it as well um porn porn industry media uh showbiz has a lot of, mm. has a lot to do with it um they define they redefine skinny as the new sexy mm. you know so i would always tell my clients don't go for skinny go for strong Hmm. If you're strong, you're healthy, right? So hmm. when my when my clients come in and they tell me they want to lose weight, sige, this could be. I, I already mindset them. I tell them this could be a very grueling task. <laughs> Yan Kenya. Okay, naman, kuya Rans, no? When you're strong, <laughs> you're healthy. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> okay, so um. <laughs> So this could be losing weight. What you want to happen? Let's get you there. But this could be a grueling task for 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 you, right? It's not gonna be easy. It's gonna be long term. There's no shortcuts to this. Walang sprint unless you want to become malnourished or dehydrated. Mm-hmm. Uh, but if you want to do this properly, it's it's gonna take months, right? Even to a year. And so the first indicators that we want you to have is. I want you to feel light and I want you to feel energetic. Yun lang. So there might not be changes on the scale, but because mm. you're activating your muscles and you're gaining uh you're 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 getting stronger. Um you're be you you you're actually able to carry your weight better. So that's where we start. We want you to to be able to get out. Get up out, out um get up from the floor easier, get out of bed easier, get into your car um uh, more efficiently, go on that bike if you like, hindi ka napapagod ng one kilometer walk lang. Right? Yun, yun ang una nating aabulin even before we talk about losing weight. Bagsak ako eh, unang dalawa pa lang eh. <laughs> you feel light <laughs> and then you feel energetic. Okay, oh my god. Okay, magkalala ko is we still have some slots, if you like. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Nico, Nico, is there is there an official an official definition of a good body image? I, I'm just asking this because this is definitely related to how people yeah. see themselves and yeah. how people view their bodies. Is there an Nico, official you you definition? Meron kasing body types tayo, Kuya Randy. Eh. You gotta first embrace the body type that you have. We are either okay. ectomorphs, mesomorphs, or endomorphs. So, um, those are endomorphs could never be like ectomorphs. Ectomorphs, ito yung mga skinny. They're born like that. Their metabolism is really off the charts. But their problem is it's hard for them to gain muscle. Okay. That's a problem. Hirap sila kahit ang bigat na ng binubuhat nila. They're lean, but they still look skinny. So, um, kain sila ng kain, uh, kain sila ng kain, pero hindi sila, hindi sila nagpuputon ng weight. Sila usually yung clients namin for type 2 diabetes kasi ang dami na nilang kinakain na, na kanin. Oh. Hindi naman ako tumatabay. Sigur, hindi nila na, nararamdaman na naapektuhan na yung blood sugar nila and yung how, how their, their body processes all those. I, I, I wonder how that feels. Uh, yeah. Ako, maamoy ko lang yung pagkain, nagigain ako ng weight eh. <laughs> <laughs> My wife is definitely an ectomorph. Ectomorph, yeah. did you say? Yeah. Ectomorph, ectomorphs. So, okay. and they lose weight easily 
they have very minimal body fat percentage in their system. Yon. They have a problem gaining muscle though. And that's, that's who is the problem. who are the what are the other body types? So some other people are endomorphs. They gain they gain fat quicker. But they also gain muscle quicker. So mabilis sila mag bulk up. Pero naiinis sila, bakit hindi ko makita yung abs ko? Kasi you're naturally built to have a thick layer of fat in your body. Ganun siya talaga. Nandyan yan. <laughs> so, actually, the strongest people in the world aren't ectomorphs or mesomorphs. They're endomorphs. Mm. So, sila yung mga um, sila yung mga obisto yung BMI pero majority of it is muscle. Sila yung mga nag, oh. yung mga nakikita nyo na nag, nagbubuhat ng mga tonelada mas mabigat pa sa binubuhat sa Olympics. Mga strongman competition, search strongman competition oh, yeah. Strong in, yeah. in in um in, in YouTube, you'll see them. They're all endomorphs. They're heavy set people. Ganyan siya talaga. So if you are an endomorph and you're wishing to be skinny, that's out of the that's out of the out of the window. You won't you will never be able to achieve that in a healthy way. Because in a healthy you way. In a healthy, pwede naman, gutumin mo yung sarili mo, huwag ka talaga okay. kumain. Okay. Magiging skinny ka, pero ang lapad pa rin ang balikat mo. Kasi your bone mass is really heavy. Your your bone structure is really heavy set. Malapad I talaga like, siya. I like this guy. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm actually giving really, me so much hope. Is, huh? is, yeah, and it's very liberating to <gasps> embrace yeah. your body type. Yeah. Because that's like, Wishing you were someone, it's it's almost like yes. saying, I want to be a singer, but you're tone deaf. You weren't born with it. Exactly. You can struggle, but you, you'll probably never be as good as the people yeah. who are naturally talented. Because, yeah. right? Um, uh, I, or or basketball, like you can train like ever, like anything. But then Michael Jordan is a Michael Jordan. A, a, a curry is a curry because he's born with certain skills. Uh, does is there a am I is that logical? Uh, yes. Yes. Because you're is. gifted with your body. You're you're born. It, you yeah. can't swap yeah. it or or you can alter <laughs> it. But then again, I like how what Nico said was there's no way to do it in a healthy way. There are ways yeah. to do it, but not in a healthy way. So yeah. it, it, you have ectomorph, you have an endomorph. What's a mesomorph? A mesomorph is the one in between. So sila yung usual na models in in the um, in the commercial industry because they um, sila yung usual na pagkakamalang nag yo yo diet, <laughs> right? Kumain sila ng konte, magigain sila. Magutom sila ng konte, mapuyat nga lang sila, pumapayat na yung mukha nila agad eh, at daya daw nila. So, they're, they're in the in-between. Um, they could, uh, sila, sila yung mga V-shaped bodies. Uh, they're more athletic in that way. So, they have a decent um, muscle gain um, uh, pace. Ma- they also have a decent uh, fat burn pace. So, hindi lahat ginagawang, hindi lahat pinapanganak na mesomorph. Now, mayroon din kasi mga in-betweens. You could be in between an ectomorph and a mesomorph or or an endomorph and a mesomorph. So, okay. um, so merong ways pa na malaman kung, kung you're an in-between. Eh. So, yung metabolism mm-hmm. mo, pag mataas yung metabolism mo, pero yung bones mo are of a certain mass, you're an in-between, a mesomorph and an endomorph. Parang ganon. I'm one of them. So I'm an in between. I have a very heavy set um uh bone structure. Uh mm-hmm. ang, ang 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 quick way is to to try to wrap your 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 thumb and your 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 index finger on your wrist. Tapos if you're able to to pinch them like that, you're an ectomorph. If you're not, you're a heavy set. So you're parang ganyan, hindi ko kaya. You're an you're an endomorph. So, I know now. I, I know now where I fall. Uh, what category? It's the index I'm, finger. <laughs> I'm I, I'm a smurf. Smurf. Color a blue smurf. Atayon, <laughs> Color blue. Index. Atayon, so the, the the index finger and the, the thumb. pointer. 
Ang saya ko na eh. I was so happy, Rans, because I'm like, wow, I'm yeah, going to get more. I, I, yeah, I can. Oh, I can it's the, it's ako the, din eh. So if I can, if I'm, if you can, I'm almost. You're, yeah, you're probably an endomorph. Or what? you're an in-between. Why can't I be a mesomorph? Because I'm a model. Uh, mo- model. Yeah, you're a model student, George. Yeah, yeah sorry. <laughs> a model employee. But, I mean, <laughs> what is, it depends. It's a it depends. mesomorph when it comes to this. This hand finger technique. Yeah, it's sorry. It's like that. You're able to you're able to touch it. Like your that. pointer Pero, and your meso. thumb. Yeah. Meso. It, yeah. Pag pag kaya mo siyang pag paglampas, paglampas yung yeah. yung Ecto. thumb mo sa sa index finger mo. Yeah. Ecto siya. That's that's a that's a quick way to to tell it. Pero when it I do that as well, doesn't tell So the when I do that to the to my wife, I can do it like this. So that means she's an ectomorph. <laughs> Pero ikaw, ikaw ah, yun eh. Yung, ah, okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> um, Nico, uh, I don't want to spend too much time on this because it's a personal question, but it may help some people. My my dad was, well, he was he had a very big beer belly, but when he was younger, he was a lot thinner. I was a, like a 28 waistline. Oh, my gosh. I was like skin and bones growing up up to let's say first year college and i look at my pictures I'm like really 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 and no ma- and i ate like crazy we we have super my family has like really enjoyable eating habits right and it was only when i stopped and i used to play like four games of basketball a day every day and uh just I was hyperactive uh i stopped playing basketball in let's say third year college or second year college and before I knew it, around three or four years later, I had a big belly. And so no one would have thought I would reach, I would get that kind of body fat because I was just so thin. So, But that yeah. doesn't mean that my body type changed. changed. Or was I already yeah. predisposed to what I am today? It doesn't or mean was that my body, your body or, type or was I in, Or was I really, when I was growing up and up to, let's say, God, was that my real body you, you know what I, how do you know yeah right 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 so sempre genetics come into play um your race come into play uh diba meron for, for europeans there's uh what they call the senorita age when you hit when you hit that age all the fat all, all the fat just mm. comes out parang ganyan um with with uh, with people with Spanish blood, as what they say, but it really all boils down to a simple debit credit. Are you burning? Are you are are you are you eating more than you're burning? Mm. Mm-hmm. So, for example, you you were playing four games of basketball a day. Um, if that would be four quarters. <laughs> in a game, man, that's that's a lot of calories that you're burning, right? Okay. So if you use and I energy, went and I cold stop, I like just yeah, stop. you stop and then your eating habits didn't really change. Did, actually, yeah, they might have gotten worse actually, right? So mm-hmm. you stop the exercise, you're you're eating the same thing. Where would all those calories go? But then, okay, yeah. So it would be saved up. It would be stored. So um, does that mean that your body type changed? No. That doesn't mean that way. So your body type is something that you are already, something that you have already. So I have clients who came to me and I was educating them on this and told me, bro, I think, I think I'm a, an endomorph. Sabi ko, how could you say? Kasi, oh, ito mo, taba ko na, bigat ko na, I really feel heavy. Sabi ko sa kanya, let's see, after a few months, how your body would respond to exercise. Mm-hmm. And then we could say. So, um, some of them actually were mesomorphs um, that just needed to to build muscle and burn burn fat. Some of them were really endomorphs. Uh, and that and nakina nang binubuhat nila 70 pounds they're using a 70 pound kettlebell um 
uh, they're jumping rope like crazy, they're eating less and all. Uh, asking me, Coach, but ganto. I'm still not seeing my muscles. Yeah, that's because you're really an endomorph. Mm-hmm. Now, look at how your performance and your activities of daily life change. So, uh, he started paying attention. One day, um, they ordered they ordered a sack of rice. 50 kilos. 50 kilos of rice. And he said, why not try to lift it? He was able to carry 50 kilos easily up to up to two floors. So he was carrying 50 sacks. That day, he needed help. Kailangan dalawa silang nagbubuhat noon. Tapos ang dami niyang pahinga. Ngayon, kaya niyang buhatin mag-isa. Tuloy-tuloy lang. So, so, so can your... Can, sorry. Can, can your body type change? Or... No. No? Like, no. like... The body type cannot change. Aha. Uh-huh. Okay. But your body so, can change. <laughs> your body but can change. Type. Outwardly. The body type doesn't change. So and and the back. body type the, the body changes because of whatever whatever regimen you let it go through. Yeah, activity. So activity. what okay. type of activity uh, do you do? The body is an amazing thing. It okay. adapts, it adjusts. So for example, really? <laughs> for example, uh, for example, your your usual your usual activity would be would be running so ano mangyayari it will build muscles on your calves and your on in, in your hips and your thighs for running right you stop mm-hmm. that you change into another activity yun naman yung mabubuo you stop that uh tawag dito um you they 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 cut the they, your body cuts the protein from your muscles to transfer it to somewhere else that is it's useful so your body is smart it adjusts mm-hmm. so fighting uh, the, the the if you want to get to your if one if you want to get to your fitness goals it's not a sprint it's really consistency because your body would follow eventually mm. what you're doing okay okay yeah. okay um just quickly all things equal except age uh, if I went through a regimen 20 years ago and the same regimen now, and I'm 45, uh, my body would probably not respond as fast. Does that make sense? Is there a certain cutoff or age when your body stops responding as quickly to as quickly. same regimen? Uh, same same regimen, uh, uh, same yeah. amount of exercise, but everything equal, eating habits, uh, lifestyle, except yeah. the age. Right. Um, so does your body make, is it more difficult when you're yeah. older? You know, um, it depends on, it depends on your baseline activity, the amount of activity that you do prior to um, doing or starting on, uh, starting on a regimen. Let's say you were as active as you were when you were um, 20 years younger. You probably know uh, you would probably not have problems starting on the same regimen. So when we say okay. all things equal, yeah, it's the whole lifestyle. So if you yeah. were more active then, if you were more active then and you're less active now, your your body should probably need a, a jump start <laughs> mm. <laughs> to just, you know, okay. wake up the muscles and all. Um, and then sl- slowly progress you towards being able to do what you uh, what you were able to do back then. Now, when it comes to, is there a cut off of when your body would start less sp- responding less towards or exercise? slower or major yeah, or slower? Slow. Yeah, the muscle gain and the fat burn would have, and in the and the strengthening of the bones has a um what do you call this it it declines over time but the capacity to 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 move doesn't so um, it's just that um it's just that older people move less 
that's why when they start exercising, parang I feel old, you know, because you haven't been moving for 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 x amount of years. Even if a young person stops moving that much for x amount of years, they would also feel the same way. Okay. So, but they would burn fat fast, faster and they would gain muscle faster. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's important to have an active lifestyle. Yes. Uh, and Nico, I have a question. Um, with the people that you're training, how much of it, like if, if you're going to give them a, a, a plan, okay, a program, how much of it is convincing them and making them, helping them love their bodies more? And how much of it is physical? Uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure you don't just do purely physical training. Yeah. Yeah, like like what Ooh. you did now, like your 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 the, the the several minutes that we we were talking, you know, I feel good about myself already. Like, like I know, yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. So so how much of it is convincing them to 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 love their bodies and how Man. much? Of it is? Psychology plays, I think, around seven, sixty to seventy percent of it. So really, just proper education and encouragement and it plays a major part so it's not all just exercise how do you do uh, it how do you convince someone okay let, let's say someone goes to you and with zero self esteem and uh, negative uh, negative body image yeah self worth yeah. and uh, something like that how do you how yeah. do you start well, I start off with um, educating. So, getting the baselines and educating. Um, so, I get the baselines, their weight, their height, BMI, um, everything. And then, I, I, I let them go through a fitness test. I always tell them that this fitness test is, is formulated in such a way for me to be able to categorize your exercise capacity right now it's not an end it's 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 not uh it's not an end it's the beginning right so don't feel bad if you feel like uh if you feel like you want to stop and rest you just tell me so what we're gonna do is for us to be able to assess where you are at right now and then after all of those education so you want to lose fat. This is the process of losing fat. This is what this is the breaking down of the weight. This is what it involves. This is um, this is probably how much time you would need to 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 spend um, pursuing a healthy lifestyle before you start seeing something aesthetically uh, aligned to, to 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 the ideal body image that that you have in your mind. And then I, I also I also tell them um, you have to embrace. You have to embrace your body type. What is your body type? Let's find that out and then embrace it. Because there's no use trying to be a Catherine Bernardo <laughs> or, or um, uh, a Randy those, Borromeo. Or a Randy yeah. Borromeo for that matter. If you are if you are skinny or if you are if you are on the heavy set. Because there are there are I have clients who are skinny who want to be like the rock. Man. We cannot put we we even surgery cannot put muscle on you. <laughs> well that's not gonna happen. You'd probably be you'd probably be Look like look like a um a model, but you would never be the rock. A model, have you said? <laughs> <laughs> right. So that's so that's good. Of, Aware yeah. awareness and acceptance. I mean, and that's yeah. the whole point of the show, right, uh, Rans? It's more of you know awareness, giving information so that people can make informed decisions, and and then I. I, I like the idea of acceptance because if you don't, then I really want to do that, and then it it I it's gonna lead to frustration and yeah. or you doing something that's not good for yourself, which yeah. will be counterproductive. Um, yeah. Or even you know become. But a really, 
detrimental could, to your yeah it could really mess with your mojo as they as they say because um you would try to get it by hook or by crook so some result to purging some result to uh starving themselves some result to plastic surgery for that matter mm-hmm. um uh, which might be aesthetically pleasing to you right now, but up to a certain age, man, it's true. They'll fall off and um, your body would reject it later on in your life. So uh, what's the, they'll fall off the, the whatever, the whatever was installed. Or... Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, okay. so yeah. unless you, unless you get another surgery to repair the previous surgery, Okay. It would. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How how long does it usually take for someone to go from to zero get plastic to... surgery or to? <laughs> <laughs> it depends where. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how fast does it? How long does it take for for people to go from hating right. themselves to loving themselves? Mm. Two sessions, four sessions, Great one session. week, <laughs> one month. <laughs> Hating themselves to loving themselves really depends on their body image uh, and their cap- capability to accept where they are at right now and really counting their wins um, in a way. Um, some have struggles with this because they have unreasonable expectations for their bodies. You know, right? right? It, it- Taken around thirty-seven minutes to talk to uh, Nico right now, and uh, I in thirty-seven minutes I already love myself, so it's, yeah, it's fast <laughs> for me. <laughs> so it really okay. depends. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, it really depends. Now, um, how long does it take for for you to see change in your body? Yeah. That's a different thing. Uh, mm. So when we're talking about uh, physiological changes. Uh, with 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 muscle muscle mass and muscle toning and um, increase in endurance and fat loss, it takes a considerable amount of time. So depends depending on your body type as well. Um, but the usual progression is so, so you need to understand this principle: first in, first out. First in, first out. The first thing to improve is usually the first thing, the first thing to decline when you stop. And that's what? That's your cardio. So your circulation, your breathing, that's the first thing to improve when you when you do exercise. So your your endurance is the first thing to improve. When you stop, let's say you stop for a week. Mm. You stop for a week. When you jump in, mabilis ka na agad mapagod. So it's the first out of the window as well when you stop. The next is fat burn. We'll talk more about fat burn in a while. So you'll see your your um, your body using up more fat. So cardio and then fat burn. After that is tone. So your muscles would have better toning. Right? If you are an endomorph, dahil nakatago yan sa, sa taba, hindi mo siya masyadong kita. <laughs> right? But you feel it when you lift objects, when you when you get up from the floor, when you move, you feel lighter, you feel stronger. Last is muscle mass. So I have former athletes na, uh, what do you call this? They stopped working out. They stopped, ex- they, they stopped exercising for around two years. Their muscles are still there. They're just not toned. Oh. So when I start training them, nagugulat sila, kaya pa nilang, uh, sorry, ang bilis nila mag-improve. Because I tell them, kasi your muscles are still there. They they never really went away. They Nilamig lang siguro, nag, nag-blanket ng taba. Ganon. <laughs> nilamig siguro. So um, um, that's how it usually progresses. Now with, yeah. with fat burn, as we were uh, as we were discussing off, off screen as, as uh, a while ago, you have to understand first what why your body stores fat in the first place. Your body stores fat because it believes that you can use it later on when you need it. So they are investments, uh, uh, if if you wanna term them that way. So, so you can be like, you can also be a heavily invested person. 
<laughs> you can say that. Nico, wait, wait. I just have to. I just have to ask this. What's more important, um, body mass or Sunday mass? <laughs> okay, okay, go, go, go. I just have to ask that. Okay, go, go. <laughs> Us- usap kay ni Lord ko yaran. <laughs> so um, with, with with fat storage, kasi just like if if we would compare that to finances, you have your emergency fund and then you have your monthly budget, right? So mm. on your day to day, you go through your monthly budget and not your emergency fund. You only use your emergency fund kapag ubus na yung iba iba mo pang mga mga um, uh, financial fin- financial savings, right? In the same way with the body, you have essential fat storages and you have non-essential fat storages. And you gotta burn through the non-essential first before you start seeing results dun sa essential fat storages. Oh, so the es- okay. All right. Sorry, so I essential, just that yeah. really clearly. And I'm like, wow, okay. Right? that. All right. So essential fat storages are essential because they important. are near your organs. <laughs> <laughs> because they're important. Yon, they're near your organs. So kapag kailangan siya ng organ mo, mabilis siyang makuha. So nasan yan? It's in your midsection. It's in your thighs, it's in your glutes, and it's in your belly and your lower back. Yan ang essential fat storages. And therefore, I therefore conclude na yan ang last to go. They are the last to go. So, talking about burning through fat, you go through, you go through your hands and your arms first. Up next is your face and your neck. After your face and your neck is your feet and your your legs. After that is your your um, your shoulder area, your chest, and your upper back. And then you'll start burning through your thighs, through your lower back, through your glutes. And then, dun palang through your belly. So, mm. kailangan mo siyang ubusin lahat bago ka makakita ng parang lumalabas na yung abs ko. So, even yung mga, yung mga Olympic bodybuilding um, champions, lumalabas lang talaga yung abs nila. Pinapalabas lang nila yan a few or a couple of days before the competition. Because for you to be able to be as defined as Arnold Schwarzenegger, um, when you're competing for a bodybuilding competition, you have to be so dehydrated. Yeah, that yeah. your your muscles, every fiber of your muscle is showing. No they, they are they, at they, their that's what, that's what Hugh Jackman did, right? For Wolverine, he did yeah dehydration, and it had it was the timing of when it he was going to be yeah. filmed. And you had to do it a certain number of yeah. hours and then you stop all of a sudden and then boom, that's yeah. when it comes out. Yeah. It's either yes, it's yes. either it's either uh, timing or after effects. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Point it. Or photos. Before and after effects. Before and after <laughs> effects. <laughs> right. So it's 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 a process. For my clients to start seeing in a health if you are gonna go about it healthily, for my clients to start seeing major improvements in their physique. Um, they would spend around three to four months in a particular diet with a particular amount of exercise. But you know. to answer, uh, not to answer Andy's question, but your question runs about how how fast they go from hating, quote-unquote, hating their body to loving their body. I guess what you one thing to look out for is if your loving your body depends on the results. Yes. Because if if that's, that's the case, then the answer is farther or much yeah, longer. Whereas that. loving yourself, body, whatever, is, is a decision you can make at any point. Yeah. And therefore, am I right? Because you can love yeah. the body that you it's like uh, you know, or it I it might be the same as loving a person. Even if they haven't changed yet, I mean, if it is, you it tell is. someone that I love you because you're a good person or because you're nice to me, but then 
then that will also quickly change once they stop treating you that way and okay no more yeah. but if you love unconditionally and they believing in the thing. potential but believing in the potential of the person or potential of your body i guess once you know already what what the type is because just learning about the type a while ago i mean i've heard some of this before but the way you organized it or, or the way the discussion went really it's very enlightening and very hopeful because at least you know you know that you're already predisposed to something and and maybe you can uh, hopefully we can this will help some of our listeners stop chasing after something that's not feasible or not or it's gonna end up in frustration which doesn't mean you're gonna stop trying to be healthy but yeah. first deal with what you have and, and go about it the right way or the, yeah can, can, can we start by just loving ourselves period first you know right. I, I think I think the first step to to changing your your body image and for you to appreciate and love your body image is love yourself flabs and all and uh, you know just that, like to follow up on what George said just just believe that there's potential there like when I look at my body I know there's so much potential muscle and it's uh, you know loving loving yourself because God made you and loved you I'm just I'm just speaking from experience okay uh, I don't know if I shared this before you know I grew up fat I wasn't fat uh, I, I, I was skinny until grade four okay when I when I went to grade five, I started gaining weight, and my legs started to gain weight, and uh, gain weight, gain weight, and then pretty soon I, I I realized that I was bigger than my classmates. Okay, so all my life, you know, I I I, I I've I've been on the heavy side, and I I I hated my body, Nico. I really did, but. You know, after after so many years, um, siguro last ten years, I just learned to. I said, I, I I wanted to lose weight so that I could love my body. But I realized that I should love my body first, so that I could lose weight. And wow. uh, that's good. I loved my body, and I loved it so much that I knew that I needed to do something so that I will lose weight. Something like that, and when I did that mind, yeah, that that paradigm shift, it changed everything. Like, you know, now I, I don't eat unhealthy food because I love my body. I love me. Uh, so it's it's. I'm just saying, you know, but don't mind that. Don't don't even think that I said that. So that is that is <laughs> just, true. Just listen that to is true. Nico. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. You could you gotta start there. Well, the reason you're exercising is because you love your body. Don't exercise wow. so that you will love your body. That is really I, good. I, that is so good. Yeah, I sorry, you mean me? You mean, you mean me? No, I, I, really? yes, yeah. what you said and what <laughs> Nico just said. No, I, I, I mean it right. Yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah. so good. Sorry, I cut you off, Nico. You were saying, yeah, so when you, when you start to, when you start to love yourself, I, I, I gotta take care of myself. Then you got more motivation now to not to not to not to become aesthetic, uh, aesthetic aesthetically pleasing in, in not to become in a the... model like George. Yeah. <laughs> not to become a model like we are George, right? <laughs> right. But but to really pursue health, you know, health Could... and wellness. We I, I like how you guys said it. You you would only take care of something that you love, <laughs> and if you don't love, and and that's why I guess. You know, it said that. Why are you doing that to your body? Don't you love your body? But I think, uh, and I'll admit this, guys. Uh, I came to a point where I'm looking at myself, and I, I don't want to use the word hate, but I, I, I'm sure I got depressed at some point because I was wondering why, how did I reach this point when I used to be, you know, so thin, or you know, and I, I could eat as much as I want, and there was no change, and now. Every you know because I, I I am not as disciplined or as as active as I used to be, um, but I I I love what you guys said that um you got to love it 
and make the loving the motivation. So start by saying, I love my body. And that is why I will take care of it rather than. Yeah. Because I, I'm sure it is. I, I not sure. I imagine the words, I hate my body, are said so often. I mean, it's. Even if they don't verbalize it, but you look in the mirror and say, oh gosh, I hate my body. I hate that. Or maybe not necessarily hate my body. I hate how I look. But then sometimes there's the lines get blurry or the operative word hate. And then it's just, that's the one that goes into your subconscious or your yeah. psyche and you attack. But I have, I've realized that oftentimes people turn it as a uh, use it as a motivation you're you're angry you're angry at how you look and you use it as motivations like ah but then i also don't know if, how long that lasts but then to to st- i like the idea of starting with you love it so you take care of it thank you rans yeah. i'm serious that i i love the, the way you put it was like boom and and yeah not so that you will love it take care of it but then take care of it because you love it and yeah right on that is so true so if if um if you use hate kasi towards your body to motivate you to exercise it's gonna rob you of joy the joy of exercising mm. exercising now becomes a punishment to your body parang feeling mo pag nagda-diet ka pinaparusahan mo yung sarili mo parang if if you're not treating yourself to that Comfort food that 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 you uh, that you uh, that that you crave for. Here's the thing: it's it's gonna start a negative cycle in your psyche, and it's gonna lead you to where you started. Balik ka ulit don. So loving your body starts with that decision. That motivates you to pursue wellness and health. The the results on the scale follows after the aesthetics it could it could uh it could come if you're really trying to gun for it but it's not required right but if you continue mm-hmm. to pursue wellness and health man your clothes would fit well your your there there'd be a spring on your step you'd be able to carry your kid better um you'd be able to move better Right, you could love your spouse better, so it it carry it carry overs into so many different things. Um, you don't treat exercise as punishment because you started with, I hate how I look. Mm-hmm. Even if you achieve that weight goal, even if you achieve that physique, you you're still gonna hate yourself. Because it's too much. Lang ng konte. Ano ba naman mm-hmm. yan? I let go mm-hmm. of myself, mm-hmm. right? That wow. Was, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's 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 yeah. very interesting. Yeah. Okay, because guys. even if you achieve it, then you slip or whatever. Then there's this. But but acceptance, love, self love, motivates. Yeah. More, so so more Nico, at the start of the year, what what will you tell someone? Who uh, aside from enroll in my class, okay? What can you tell? What can you tell someone who's struggling with body image, who's who's experienced body shaming, and and because of that, maybe they got too hurt that they really wanted want to do something about it. But how? What can you tell people who are like that? I'm sure there will be someone here, and and you know, you guys, you all of you listening. You, you can relate because at some point, one point in your life, you 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 uh, you were a victim of body shaming. Yeah. Or, or yeah. what can you what can you tell them? Right, mas mahirap pa yan kung ang ang nagbabody shame sa yung kasama mo sa bahay, di ba? So mm-hmm. I have I have a number of clients who have experienced that. They would break down while we're talking because of that. Right. So my encouragement for you is to acknowledge where you are at right now. Nasaan ka with, with, your, with your pursuit of health? Do you really love yourself? You know, it starts with, with accepting that um, I'm really having a hard time loving myself. And it's, it doesn't usually start because of body image. You don't, you don't hate yourself because you're fat. You hate yourself because of something else. 
right? And then it just carries over to kasi mataba ako, hindi ko tuloy kaya gawin 'yan. Sinasabi tuloy sa akin ito ng mga tao. And it goes on the opposite side of the spectrum, ha. Payatot kasi ako eh. Parati akong inaasar na uh, tatangayin ako ng hangin. Mm-hmm. Right? It, it goes to the other side of the spectrum. So I've been on I I've been on the listening side to both to both sides and I hear I I heard them both. And my encouragement really is to start to accept where you are at right now, why you are going through this, and to resolve to, I want to love myself. I want to take care of myself. The physique, it comes after. The results, it comes after. You would start exercising and they would still hate you. They would still call, oh, kala ko ba nag-exercise ka na? Bakit parang wala naman nagbabago? Usually, the people who complain are those who don't, who are who either don't understand the whole process they don't see the whole picture or they're doing less than you are so you know just let them complain mm-hmm. right let them complain let them say their speak their mind as long as you know that you have started already and that's why we are educating we are educating you that it's a process that it takes a certain amount of time right you're gonna you're Uh, you're gonna start forming habits healthily, making good decisions about what you eat, not not choosing to starve yourself or to overeat if you are on the other side of the spectrum, and really form the foundation of something that would span your whole life. Wellness and health, a lifelong pursuit. It's a marathon. It's not a sprint. Hmm. Right. So the f- most important thing is that you start. You start where you are. You start acknowledging where you are. You start acknowledging what you need to do, what you need to change, and do it slowly. I'm not asking you to start going on a one-hour to two-hour exercise regimen. Start with 20 minutes, and then progress that slowly. You'll get to where you want to be soon enough. That's gonna be my encouragement. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm thinking, George. I, I love what Nico said. Um, how can you? How can you protect yourself from body shaming? Especially, you said earlier. Especially if these people come, like from you know, you there. You see them every day, and when they see you, tapat tapat mo na. Nagkain pimples. But kaya nga kalit mo. You know, how do you protect yourself? You're already surrounded by people who are like that. So yeah. I, I would, you know, when someone would tell me, you know, I, I just say, um, but, uh, but how do you really do that? How do you, how do, what, what do you tell yourself? Do you rebuke them, cast them out, and whatever? <laughs> right, right. It, it helps. Well, it helps with, with, uh, with, with that decision first, to love yourself. Second, Is surround your people. Uh, surround yourselves with with people who will journey with you or who are on the same journey. Um, having a tribe, so and so, uh, uh, um, or or a community that could help you journey through what you're going through, um, and gives you not false feedback, but positive and real feedback at the same time would really help you with your with your. Uh, With your self-esteem, being able to hear, to hear it as it is, in a positive way, is a very good thing. And uh, there is a, there's a specific group of people that could help you with that. So, again, don't expect it from people who don't understand. Don't expect it from people who 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 haven't been in your shoes. Yeah, man. They'll just complain. They'll just criticize you, and they're the wrong people to listen to. Listen to those who have been there, who are who, who are continuously doing it, and who understand the the the, the mental process, yeah. the mental side of this, the process of all of it. You get it is it is very easy to crit. It is very easy to criticize someone if you don't understand what they're going through. You know, I mean, it is very convenient to just say, "Hey, you gotta you gotta lose weight," but you've never had to lose weight before. It's so easy to say, and, and sometimes it's yeah. even in I me mean, with good intention. You know, love you, you should, but then, yeah, it's 
it's good to surround yourself yeah. with people who are on the journey because yeah, you have a tribe. Yeah. I love it. Rans, I, I, I feel I, the <laughs> I feel the Holy Spirit just stirring something in me. And I don't know, I feel someone might need to hear this right now. They're listening. And um, this is an advice. This is just an encouragement. Um you are beautiful, you know. Um, I think you can be unhealthy, but that doesn't mean you're not beautiful. And when I say you are beautiful, you are a beautiful person. You are handmade, knit in your mother's womb, uh, designed by God uh, with all your intricacies. And not just the body, but your personality, your thoughts, your mind, your heart, the, the love flowing in you and through you. You are beautiful. And that's why you should or we should love ourselves because we are beautiful and we can be unhealthy, but that doesn't take away our dignity. It doesn't take away the fact that we were made beautiful and being unhealthy uh, is something therefore we address because I love what you said. Um, enables us to serve more, to love more, to do more, to be more, to give more. But I just feel someone listening right now might might need to hear that that you you are beautiful. It's it's just mm -hmm. that is a fact, and nothing changes that. And and yeah, hopefully that'll pick 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 us up or pick you up wherever you are listening right now to yeah to to as the beginning to. Accept and believe that first. Yeah, it, that that what what happens on the outside doesn't change what's on the inside. And um, but we won't. It's hard to work on the outside unless on the inside you believe that you are worth it and and you are you are to begin with. You know that you have it in you. And part of that, I was speaking to myself as well. Uh, and so, yeah, thanks. This this episode uh, really blessed me. And praise God. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, God, for putting yep. this together. Yeah. Fearfully and wonderfully made. Uh, God did not, Einstein said, God did not play dice when he made the universe. It was, you're fearfully and wonderfully made. God made sure that who you are now is, you know, is is perfect for Him, and it doesn't. It's not about what. It's not about how heavy you are. It's not about um, how sexy you are. It's it's about who He is, and it's about His love for you. And just like a kid, you know, um, when I have a ten-year-old son, you know, if I if I see him. Uh, my my love for him is the same. If I see him wake up late, or if I sometimes mm -hmm. he you yeah. know he gets into my nerves, but but my love is just I love him. Period. And and yeah, yeah someone needs to hear that. And do you know that God woke us up and God kept George awake so that <laughs> so that you can you can hear that hear those words. God loves you. You are fearfully and wonderfully made, and it's not about how you look. It's about it's about who you are in God's eyes, and you are special. And He doesn't just love you; He likes you as well. Right on. Yeah, yeah. And that and 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 that love also compels us or drives us to be the best that we can be. Um, it's unconditional, but then it is at the same time motivating and propelling and driving. Um, and yeah, because it's yeah. easier to love when you're healthy as well. <laughs> I mean, it's, isn't it? It's, you can love more when you're healthy. So, ha, huh. whoo. Uh, and and, be, and so besides, good. if you're overweight, there's more to love. So, yeah. you know, know that God loves you. <laughs> Nico, Thank we are you, so Nico. grateful that that you took the time out. Yeah, guys, uh, Nico had to uh, call in his father-in-law to take care of his son uh, in order to make it to this podcast. And um, thank you, and Nico. We're really grateful that you you did. Obviously, we couldn't get into the nitty-gritty of diets and and exercise and 
all of that because we would need probably how many episodes. But I think, honestly, I feel we struck gold with with what was really important and where we're supposed to begin. And um, yeah, uh, Nico, where where can people find out more? I mean, apart from your business uh, or your class and, and you as an individual, uh, how, how do people find out more? Because obviously the knowledge is power. So how can they find out more so that they can take charge of their health? What are right. your, just a few tips, or uh, and and also please do share how they can be part of what what you do. Right, um, read up, read up on body types, read up on um, uh, pursuing health and wellness more than just exercising. Um, also, see a nutritionist; they could really help you um, prescribe prescribed diet plans really is fit for where you are at and, and your lifestyle and your goals. So that's very important. Now, if you're looking for someone to uh, help journey with you um, through exercising, please contact me. <laughs> Message me on my FB page, Nico Kapushon, N-I-K-O-C-A-P-U-C-I-O-N. And I'm also going to be sending to our production team a a Facebook group wherein we um, we give free fitness tips that nice. uh, could help you in in your journey, right? So, yeah, that's it. Read up, and also, lastly, <laughs> look at yourself the way God looks at you. And when He sees you, He doesn't see your fat or you're too skinny. <laughs> he sees that you are His child and you are loved, and that's why. Uh, that's why you, you get up, you shape up, so that you could do more to share his love with other people. That's my motivation. <laughs> I wanna carry my kid. I wanna I wanna be able to go to to the young people and 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 uh, spread God's love to them. If I'm not healthy, if if I easily get tired, I won't even be able to share that kind of energy to them. <laughs> yeah, so really starts from purpose it starts from love it starts from your why and let your why be because god loves me that's it for me brothers mm. thank you so much for having me here wow Woo! thank you thank you nico um yeah so let's all be fit this new year i know i just know that this year is gonna be better than last year Amen. Because that's what I believe. Uh, today is better than yesterday. Tomorrow it will be better than today. Amen. So, yeah. Right on. What a great way to kick off the year, huh? That's so mm -hmm. good. Excellent. Thank you guys for listening. And, and, and before we go, we just want to pray for you. Um, and we'll pray for Nico as well. Um, but Rans, I don't know. I feel like doing something different right now. Nico, can we ask you to pray for our listeners? Is that okay? Sure. I think that would be really cool. Sure thing. Sure thing. Right. And okay. us too. Us too. That we will learn to love our bodies. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> we start. We start. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, I thank you for this opportunity to discuss um, how to look at our bodies, how to, uh, how to see ourselves, and how to take care of it. You have designed our bodies so well. And you have equipped us with what we need to be able to um, adjust and adapt and, and, and pursue health and pursue wellness. My God, the world has got into, our, got into our hearts and our minds and has poisoned the way we look at ourselves and the way we feel about ourselves. And so, God, by the power of your Holy Spirit, we, we ask that you be a surgeon right now and surgically remove all of that from our mm -hmm. hearts and our minds and replace it with your unconditional love with a gaze of, of mercy and grace that exceeds the way we look at ourselves. Um, drown us in your compassion that we may be compassionate to ourselves as well. And that your voice would drown out the negative words that we hear from the people around us 
and from the media that we consume. God, let your love spur us to purpose and let that purpose and mission spur us towards health and wellness. That we would desire to be healthy, that we would be de- that we would desire to be well, so that we could do more of your work, so that we could pursue your purposes for our lives for the next coming years, and maybe even up to the end of our life. Allow our love for ourselves to result into to a better body image, to result into pursuing um, health so that we could love more and be more for you and for the people around us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Father and of the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you, bro. Thank you so much. Thank you for being on the show. Thank you for for inviting us to your show, Nico. Yeah, thank you, Nico. (laughs) (laughs) You guys are still crazy. (laughs) You prayed you prayed so well. We we really thought it was your show. So yeah. (laughs) Uh, But Galing, galing. No, no, no. Thank you. I'm serious. I'm serious. Uh, God. Thank you. Thank you, Kiranz, Kia George. I'll see you next time. Yeah. Right thank you very much. Okay. So, George, that was a good one. That's a good start of the year. Um, it's, uh, you, you notice my accent, it's, it's, it's changing because I noticed your accent's changing as well. So, um, you know, talk about adaptability, stuff like that. But but it was it was a good start. It Boom. was. It, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking at the I'm looking at our uh, group chat. But yeah, no, Rans, Rans, it was awesome. Uh, I, I I I I'm still a little bit. You know, I I didn't expect this episode to to go the way it did. Uh, to to learn. Not that I didn't think we would learn from Nico, but what I mean is <laughs> the the things that God revealed to me uh, are are just like wow. And I honestly feel really happy for the people who are listening right now. And I, I if if you are you you may, I think you made a very good decision. And and yeah, let's um let's love ourselves, yeah, and yeah. then all else will follow. Um, thanks so much, guys, for for listening and and Randy. We can do it two by two. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. We will be healthy so that we can serve the Lord until we're a healthy 100. Um, yeah. <sighs> Thanks so much Potential for listening, time. everyone. And Potential and once time. again, uh, check Potential out our time. other episodes um, and and uh, make sure that you, you tune in next time because we, we love talking about different things in life, uh, big things, small things, things that we decide on. And hopefully today's episode um, helped you. And if it did, share it with a friend. And um, and yeah, tell more people about the Take Note podcast. Yep. So, uh, George, thank you. Looking forward to a wonderful year. I know that this is going to be the best year ever for us. Best year And ever. yeah, I'm, I'm also praying this for all of you listening. Um, yeah. And uh, I'm, we're going to see you until our next episode. Till next time, remember, take note. (laughs) Take note. (laughs) God bless you, Rand. Bye. See you, everyone. Bye. Thank you for joining us. If you like this episode of Take Note, please don't forget to follow our podcast channel, whichever platform you're listening from. And you can also join us on our Facebook podcast community group where we can do post-episode discussions. Just search Take Note Podcast on Facebook and you'll see us there. Also, subscribe to Feast TV's YouTube channel at youtube.com slash official, where you can also find the video version of this podcast. Speaking of finding our podcast, we have new episodes every first Wednesday of the month at 7 p.m. So catch us on our next upload.